Hello, everybody! How's it going? Uh, today, I have a very fun class plan. Oh my goodness, I do this every time! So I have a very, very fun class plan today. We are going to be going through lots of different things. We're going to go through our kicks. We're going to talk a little bit about balance. And then at the end of class, I have a game, a brand new game. Something I made just special for it. So we'll get there at the end. But first, let's get started with one of my favorite games of all time, Jungle. Jungle. So, just as a reminder for the people who weren't here a couple weeks ago, here's how jungle works. We're going to be jogging through the jungle. When we see branches, we need to duck under it, and then we're going to keep running. When we see a log, we have to jump over it. And then finally, we got one more. You have to be very careful on this one. We're going to get running, and when you see it, you have to punch through it. So, let's start jogging right now. We're getting right into it. Ready? Jog, jog, duck! Oh! Oh! Duck! Ooh, oh, nice job! Jump! Ooh. Jump! Ooh. Oh, punch! Ayah! Oh, keep jogging! Keep going, keep going! Punch! Ayah! Duck! Oh, that was a good fast one! Jump! Duck! Jump! Duck! Oh, good job, guys! Keep jogging, keep jogging! Alright! Take a deep breath in! breath out. I'm going to add one more. One more thing today. Now, you won't see it on the screen because these animals are very tricky. I'm going to say bear. When I say bear, what you have to do is you have to pretend like you're sleeping. Now, you're not going to see it because bears hide in the forest. So you have to be very, very careful. So you ready? Bear, sleep! Oh. Now stay back up and keep jogging. Nice, okay, so be ready for bears. Duck, jump, punch, nice, jump, duck, punch, duck, punch, jump, bear. Pretend like you're sleeping, pretend like you're sleeping, and back up, this time when we run. We have to run with our knees up high because we'll be going through quicksand. Are you ready? Go! Knees up high. Run as fast as you can. And duck. Woo. Keep going. Duck. Oh, you guys are doing great. Jump. Keep going. Jump. Whoa. And punch. Aya. Bear. <gasps> Freeze. And sleep. Ah. Nice, nice. Now stand back up. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. There's one final thing that we need to run away from. A cheetah. Now the cheetah, you have to run as fast as you can. You can't stop. We're gonna go as fast as we can on this cheetah. Are you ready? And run! As fast as you can. Keep running, keep running, keep running. And punch. Aya! Keep running. Keep running really, 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 really fast. Duck. Keep running. Jump. Woo. Jump. Woo. Okay, ready? Duck. Woo. Punch. Aya. Keep running as fast as you can. You're almost there. And bear. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Stand back up. Final round. Now, both the cheetah and the bear are working together. They're gonna chase you through the quicksand. So high knees and fast knees. There's not a lot of obstacles, but you have to go high knees, fast knees. Are you ready? Set, go, run as fast as you can. Really, really fast. High, fast knees and duck. Oh, nice job. Jump, oh no wait, jump. Punch, oh nice, keep going, high, fast knees. Really, really fast. The cheetah's catching up. He's almost here. Punch. Woo. Nice. Duck. Ah. Jump. Ah. Keep going, keep going. Duck. Woo. You're almost there. And bear. Look around. Pretend like you're sleeping. Fall to the ground safely. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe in. Breathe out. And stand back up. Woo. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to get any drink of water that you need, okay? 
Ready, set, go! Go as fast as you can! It should be back in a couple seconds here. There we are. All right, we should be back. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. The bear must have got me. And it cut out again. Please tell me it didn't crash. Oh, I think it will pop up here in a second, hopefully. Oh, there we are. Okay, cool. So, yeah, the bear must have got me. Sorry about that. My program crashed halfway through, so I had to reset it real fast. With all that being said, let's get started. Now, if you didn't see the jungle game, that's okay. You know what? I have a very fun game at the end where we'll do a warm-up again. <coughs> Sorry, if you did see the jungle game, that's amazing as well. With all that being said, let's get started on our kicks. Today we're going to talk about balance. Balance. Now let me ask you a question. What is balance? Because balance is one of the biggest parts of our life. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Balance is where I can stand on one leg without falling over. And you're right, that is balance. However, balance is also something that we can do mentally. Let me ask you a question real fast. Is it good to have broccoli? Is it good to have broccoli? Hmm, think about it. Yeah, of course it is. You may not like it, but it's good to have it. Is it good to have only broccoli? No, no, you want to have different foods and that's what balance is. It's important that we play, right? But it's also important that we do our homework. It's important that we eat healthily and it's important that we eat food that we'd like to eat sometimes. But too much of one thing can be bad, even if it's good for you. So I love the jungle game and I wish I could play it all day, but sometimes we need to move forward and work on different things. Today we're going to work on our kicks. More specifically, our front kick and our side kick. We're going to talk about our chambers and how we kick out and how we can hold that kick for a while. So let's get started with our front kick. There are four parts to a front kick, four parts. We chamber, kick, rechamber, down. Put your hands up. Let's try out these four steps. First, let's start with our chamber. With our chamber, are you ready? Hands up, bring your knee up. Now put it down, okay, let's try this again, ready? Go chamber, up and down. Okay, you ready again? Go one more time, chamber, down. Okay, now we're gonna do our kick. And let's see how long we can hold our kick out. See if you can hold your kick out longer than me. So I bring my chamber up, then I extend my leg, kick. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, back, down. Okay, good job. So maybe you held it longer than me. Let's see if you can do it again. So chamber, kick and hold, hold, oh, don't move, don't move. Oh, you guys are doing great. And down, okay, okay. Final one. So chamber, kick, Whoa, hold, hold, hold. Pull your toes back if you can. Rechamber down. So I mentioned that final step there. Rechamber. What is rechambering? Well, if chambering is this. Rechambering means we come back to this. So after I kick, I need to bring my heel back in. Let's try it out. We're going to do all three steps. Go chamber, kick, rechamber. Nice. Go again. Chamber, kick, rechamber. Okay, one more time. Ready? Go. Chamber, kick, rechamber. Down. Okay. Final one, the final step. This is the most fun step. Putting our leg down. That's a step in itself. Our legs are naturally flat, or, or naturally on the ground. I don't hop on one leg all over the place. I have both feet on the ground. So after I chamber kick and rechamber, I need to remember to plant my foot. So we are gonna do five of our best front kicks. The first time we do it, we're gonna go really, really slow really going to show off our chambers. The second time we'll go faster and faster and faster. Are you ready? Let's use our left leg first. Hands up. Go. Really slow. Chamber. Kick. Rechamber. Down. Okay, that's one. Now a little bit faster. Ready? Go. Chamber. Kick. Rechamber. Down. Okay, a little bit faster. Now ready? Go. Chamber. Kick. Rechamber. Down. Okay, a little bit faster. Now ready? Go. Chamber. Kick. Rechamber. Down. Okay. As fast as you can, but you have to save the steps. Are you ready? Go! Ayah! 
Oh, good job, guys. So that's our front kick with one leg. But can we do a front kick with our other leg? We can. So everybody, tap your right foot for me. Say, this is my right foot. This is my right foot, sir. Parents, make sure it's their right foot. Say, this is my right foot. This is my right foot. Okay, one more time. Say, this is my right foot. This is my right foot, sir. We are now going to kick with it. We're going to do it five times. Remember, this time we're going to do it opposite. Our first kick is going to be the fastest. And each time we go, we're going to go slower and slower. Are you ready? Go really fast. Ayah! Oh, nice. Okay, now a little bit slower. Go. Ayah! Now a little bit slower. Go. Ayah! Now a little bit slower. Go. Ayah! Now as slow as you can. See if you can go slower than me. Ready? Go. You have to move your legs still. Shh. Shh. That was good. We're going to do it one more time. Even slower than me. Make sound effects if you want to. Ready? Go. Shh. Oh, yeah. Shh. Good job. So that's our front kick, that's our front kick. Now we're gonna learn our side kick, our side kick. Now how many steps are there to a side kick? Shout it out, is there one step? Eight steps? 32 steps? 2,864 steps to a side kick? No, there's, there's not, there's four. And it's actually the same four. I chamber, kick, re-chamber, down. But my chamber is a little bit different. On my front kick, I chamber front. I chamber in front of me. My side kick, I chamber into me or to the side of my body. So put your hands up. Put your belly sideways. Hands here. Now take your leg. Bring it into your chest or to the side of your body. Now kick. Now bring it back into your chest. Now put it down. Okay, we're gonna do this slow at first. We're gonna do five slow side kicks. Hands up. Chamber in, make sure your belly's to the side. Kick, whoop, re-chamber, oh, down. Now, if you fell over, that's okay, I fell over too. This is a hard kick. And you'll actually find the slower we go, the harder it is to maintain balance. So let's do it again, ready? Go, a little bit faster, chamber, kick, Rechamber down. Okay, a little bit faster. Ready? Chamber, kick, rechamber down. Now, before we go really fast, we want to make sure we have our balance down. Let me show you something. Look. Oh, oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. My remote's off. That's why it's not working. Oh, <laughs> now it's super not working. Now, I want you to look at my feet real fast. When I do my side kick, my heel needs to be facing in before I raise my leg up. So my heel turns in. I make a T with my feet. So you ready, put your hands up. Get wide. Slide, make a T. Bring your knee in, kick. Nice, now we're almost to our fast version. Let's do it slow one more time and then we'll do it three fast, ready? Wide, slide, make a T. Kids, freeze. Tell your parents what your T stands for. My T stands for uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Nice. Ready, knee in. Kick. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now we're going to do our fast versions. When I say go, you're going to go, ayah. Wide slide kick. Bring your knee in. Ready? Go. Ayah. Ooh, that's one. Ready? Go. Ayah. Go. Ayah. Nice. Now let's use our left leg. Or sorry, our right leg. Our right leg. So we just used our left leg. Let's use our right leg. Put your belly to the side for me. Say hi. Tap your right leg, say, this is my right leg. This is my right leg, sir. This is my right leg. This is my right leg, sir. One more time is, this is my right leg. This is my right leg, So sir. now, I'm gonna bring my right leg into my chest. Kick out. Remember to make your T. You make a T with your feet, your heels facing your target. Okay, we're gonna do three slow, then three fast. When we do this slow here, I want you to say the moves you're doing or your steps. Your chamber kick and re-chamber down. Ready? Hands up. Go. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, down. Okay, let's do this slow again. Ready? Chamber, kick, re-chamber, down. One more time slow. Say it with me. Ready? Go. Chamber, kick, kick 
Rechamber. Down. Okay. Yeah. Now let's do the fast version. As fast as we can, okay? Three fast. Hands up. Go! Ayo! Ooh, nice. Go! Ayo! Go! Ayo! Ooh, good job, guys. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Now I do have a game here. But I got one final thing before our game. I talked about balance, how you can never have you can have too much of one thing, even if that thing's good for you. Now I'm gonna give you a balance game, a balance game with our body. See, if I lean too far to one side, even if it's my favorite side, I'm gonna fall. If I lean too far to the other side, I'm still gonna fall. My goal is to be able to balance and keep my weight on the center. Now, if you want a true challenge, put your hands up like this. Our goal is to do as many kicks as we can without putting our foot down. We're gonna start with our front kicks. You can choose your favorite kick or favorite leg of all time. I don't care. Your goal is to get as many front kicks as you can. So I'm gonna do this, and I want you guys to tell me how many kicks I get. Are you ready? Go. One, so count with me. So just count my kicks for now. Two, count, three, four, five. Oh. I put my foot down, so what does that mean? I lose, so I have to start over at zero. So if I put my foot on the ground, I start over at zero. Let's see how many front kicks we can do. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to get as many as you can. Parents, help your children out. Let them know what kicks they're at, and if they touch the ground, help them be honest and say, let's start over. At the end of this, I want you guys to tell me, I want you guys to tell me how many you got. Are you ready? Hands up. Go! So kick as many times as you can without putting your foot down. You can't do that fourth and final step, right? Keep going. You have 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds. I just did five, but then I put my foot down, so I have to start over. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds left. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Oh, oh, oh I gotta put my foot down again. This is very difficult. You have 10 seconds. You got this, keep going. Get as high as you can. Three, two, one, and time. Freeze. Parents stop them there. If they were kicking that entire time, they probably got a really high number. Let us know in chat what they got. Now we're gonna do a side kick. But the same rules apply. So before you guys go, help me count mine. Help me count mine so we know what we're doing. So ready? I bring my foot up and I kick. Say one, two, three, four. Five. Ugh. So if I did another kick, would that be six or one again? It would be one because I put my foot down. Yeah, I put my foot nine, down. Sir. Nine, I'm impressed. So as many side kicks as you can in 30 seconds without putting your foot down. If you put your foot down, restart over at zero. Remember, what is your highest score? So if you got to 10 and then your final attempt, you got to two, your high score is 10. Type 10 in the chat. Are you ready? 30 seconds, as many side kicks as you can, starting right now. Knee in, kick, one, two, oh, three, oh, I only did three side kicks. Keep going, you guys are crushing it. You guys are crushing it. You're almost there, you're almost there. You have 15 seconds left to get your high score on kicks. See if you can beat Jacob and get more than nine. Jacob, I'm challenging you. You need to be 9-2. Three, two, one, and time. Time. Miss Love, can you read some of the high scores for us? I great, can, sir. Great job, guys. Great job. So that was really impressive. Ooh. That took a lot of balance to kick. Now, I got one more thing before I play my game. Yes, ma'am? Eden got four, and Jake got 13. Jake got 13 kicks? Oh, I think that's a high score right now. Oh, wait. Jackson got six, but Aiden did 60. 60 in 30 seconds? He did great. Well, that, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's two kicks a second. I'm impressed. Uh, now, Aiden Carter is also, I think, the highest ninja belt here at PAMA right now. Nice. So that wouldn't make sense. All right, so now I got one final thing. My final thing today is I'm going to show you a brand new kick. Brand new kick. Now, for our experience in just this isn't brand new. For our white belts, you may have never seen this kick before. It's called a round kick, a round kick. After I show you this round kick, 
you're going to see how many round kicks you can do. We can see if we can beat Aiden Carter 60. 60. Now before we do that, let's talk about how to do one and how to do one well. How many steps are there to a round kick? Jeopardy theme music here. Four. There's four. Just like the front kick, side kick, there's four steps to a round kick. And they're the same four steps. Chamber, kick, rechamber, down. However, it gets a bit complicated because I need to do something a little bit more with my body. When I kick, I have to change directions. My front kick, I stay front. My side kick, I stay side. But on my round kick, I have to turn my body around. So to get started, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a step forward, bam, like this. I like to call these Frankenstein steps. Are you ready? Step, whoop, back. Here's why I call them Frankenstein steps. I step like I'm Frankenstein. Step, back, step, back. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to step, but don't touch your foot on the ground. Then bring it back, are you ready? Go, don't step, back. It's kind of like the hokey pokey where I put one foot in, I shake it all about and then I bring it back, okay, so you ready? Same thing, step in, but don't touch the ground. Back, again, step, back. Nice job, okay, so now let's add our chambers to our kicks, right? Our chamber, kick, rechamber, down. We got this, are you ready? Hands up, I'm gonna do my Frankenstein step. Instead of stepping on the ground, I'm gonna touch the heel to my bottom. Ready? Step. Boop. Go again. Ready? Step. Boop. One more time. Ready? Step. Boop. Now, after we do that, we bring our heel here. We're gonna kick, extend our leg. Remember, chamber, kick. And I'm gonna add the third step too. Chamber, kick, reach chamber. Down, I have to bring my heel back in. For my advanced ninjas, I want you to do my round kick and put it back to where you started. For my new ninja swimming this kick, feel free to step, do your kick, and land in front, just like your Frankenstein step. Let's do three slow, three fast. Ready? Go. Aya! One. Go. Aya! Two. Ready? Go. Aya! Three. Okay. Three fast on my key up. Ready? Go. Aya! Back. Go. Aya! Back. Final one. Go. Aya! Back. Nice job, guys. Now as many round kicks as you can in 30 seconds. So that means I can't put my foot down. Let's try it out one more time. I'm gonna do it and I want you guys to count at home. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I touched my foot, so what does that mean? I only got six, I would have to start over. You have 30 seconds to get as many round kicks as you can. Are you ready? Set and Go! You guys got this. You guys got this. Get your highest number possible. I see that uh, Jake, oh, Josh is in the chat. Josh, I saw your pictures that your mom sent over. I gotta say, I was impressed. I was impressed. And not only that, I see Misha's in the chat. Oh, I love it. And Sean, Sean, no way. See if you can get more than three, Sean. If you do, let me know. These round kicks are hard. I know they're difficult, but I'm sure you're doing incredible. Three. Two, one, and time. Type your things into chat. How many you got? While you're doing that, I got a game. The wheel. The wheel. Now, I call this the Taekwondo wheel. Now, just like all wheels, there's good things on it, and there's some things that aren't so great. You may not be able to read it well, and if you can't, that's okay, I'll help you out. So, I, there's favorite punch or kick, push-ups, amazing punches, running, uh, any exercise you want, and silly faces on here. Whatever you get on the wheel, you have to do for 30 seconds, or for 10 seconds. So, if you get one of these on the wheel, you have 10 seconds of doing whatever it says. Are you ready? Set, and go! Okay. So whatever you get here, you have 10 seconds of doing whatever it is. And Ms. Luft, any high scores? Uh, Jacob got 10, sir. 10? I'm impressed. And guys, guess what it is? It says, quick, run in place for 10 seconds, go! Run as fast as you can! Five, four, three, 
two, one, and stand in attention. Perfect. I spin it again. Ooh, that was a that was a good one. <gasps> Quick run, ten seconds, go fast. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and attention. Any other high scores? Not yet, sir. All right, all right. <gasps> favorite punch or kick. So you have to do your favorite punch or kick for 10 seconds. So if it's a round kick or a jump front kick, you get to do it for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and attention. And I am rolling it again. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Push-ups. Oh, push-ups for 10 seconds. Are you ready? And go. 10 seconds of push-ups. I'll do this one with you. Drop down. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Okay. So let me tell you a secret. There's only two things left on here or three things, amazing punches, any exercise, and silly faces. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's spinning, it's spinning. Any exercise you want for 10 seconds. Jumping jacks, punches, kicks, whatever makes you uh, sweat a little bit, you can do it. Are you ready? Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, final spin. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Silly face, no way, it's like it's magic. So now, you know how your parents say, if you make a silly face, it may just stay that way. You have to make a silly face for 10 seconds. You can't move, smile, laugh, or giggle. You just have to stay there with your silliest face. Are you ready? And go. Miss Luff, can I have you start the countdown? Yes. Oh, in your head. Yes. Out loud. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Good job, guys. <laughs> Good job. I know that can be difficult, but you guys crushed it. Now, to end class, I have a couple of announcements. First one being this. You guys can get your next belt. There's a video on our page describing how you can get your next belt. So if you're a white belt, you can get a yellow belt. If you are a ninja green belt, you can get a blue belt. Now I'll go over it a little bit, but in the same, uh, but that video will give you a better in-depth look at it. If you log onto the student portal and they attend a class, let us know. And then also, if they do good things around the house, they can get their green stripe and their white stripe for making sure that they're cleanly by washing their hands and uh, not touching their face. But they also can get all their stripes. And once they get all their stripes, Master Luck will mail them their belts. So if they are doing good, parents, log into the portal, let us know so they can get their next belt so they'll come into class the next time we have it in the studio with a new rank. Now, there is one more very, very important thing, and I want to make sure everybody's here to hear this. Coming up this Thursday is going to be Parents' Day. Parents' Day. So, parents, I'm going to have you participate in Taekwondo this Thursday. This Thursday. So, when you're here, make sure uh, that uh, you're not reading a book, but you're hopping on in with your uh, son or daughter. I'm going to teach you how you guys can do martial arts at home together and have fun with it too. So this Thursday is going to be a parents class. So parents, make sure you're uh, good to go and ready when uh, 3.30 rolls around. Now, uh, if there's any questions, I'll answer them. Uh, I'll answer it right now. Or um, also, if there's any high scores, we'll read it out. If you had a great class today, let me know. Uh, if you missed something that you really want me to do next time, let me know as well. I'd love to hear your feedback, and we'll go to it right now. Adam got 72 kicks. 72 kicks. <laughs> 72. That's a lot of kicks. Aiden, oh, he did 20 kicks. 
20 round kicks? Well, that's hard. Round kicks are hard. Black belts typically in 30 seconds. 20. Yeah. Third, uh, first degree black belts tends to get around 60. 60 solid, like, really amazing kicks. Like, best kicks you'll see, 60 of them in 30 seconds. Um, second degrees typically get around 70, 75. And third degrees get up to 80 and 90 kicks within a second. And those are good kicks. They're not the... They actually do extend out and go really fast with it. Um, Jake had the best time. Thank you, Master well, Dick. Thank you for being here, Jake. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully we had a little bit of challenge on coming back after our round kick. I know I find that difficult sometimes, especially being able to re- or unrotate again. It's hard to find that balance. Okay. Well, if that's it for today, I want to thank you guys for being here. It's always a pleasure, and i got to tell you, it made my day a whole bunch better. I will see you next class on Thursday for Parents' Day.